Welcome to Sliver and Bite TV. Today we're making a homemade favorite, toasted sandwiches. But today we're gonna bouge it up. It's easy to level up your toasted sandwich game with just a few gourmet cheeses, meat other than ham and salami, and a few little added extras that make it bougie AF. Up first, we're going to caramelize our halloumi. We do this with just a little vegetable oil and caramelize it both sides. You can soak your halloumi to remove some of the salt content. However, I like my toasted sandwich salty. Once the halloumi is caramelized, you can put that behind you, ready to toast some of your bread. First off, I am going to put some vegetable oil in my fry pan and then butter the two bits of sourdough. To assist in melting the cheese on the inside, I'm going to toast both sides of the sourdough. That's why you can see me buttering both sides of the bread. And that's off into the fry pan. Only for two minutes because you don't want to make it too crispy, otherwise you'll tear up the inside of your mouth. As you can see, once I flip it, it's only a very light golden brown. Now time to start layering up. I have some pre-sliced camembert. You want to make sure that you've got an even distribution because if you have it overlapping, there will be simply too much cheese in the toasted sandwich. And I'm just mixing together some Philadelphia cream cheese and some dill. And with the back end of a teaspoon, I'm going to smear some of that cream cheese and dill onto the other slice of sourdough. You'll want to make sure that the fry pan isn't too hot because you're just wanting to maintain the heat at this stage. We just want to warm up the contents of the toasted sandwich. On top of the camembert, I am just layering on some sliced turkey breast and sprinkling on some grated jalapeno. And once that's been sitting there for a minute or two, you can flip on the lid. And then we're going to set that off to the side whilst we cook the rest of our toasted sandwiches. You'll see that I am cooking three versions of a toasted sandwich, so we will bring them back at the very end and then reheat them. So we don't want to fully crisp up the outside just yet. We want to replenish the vegetable oil. And now I'm going in with some fresh baked focaccia. And I've already pre-buttered the inside. No real need to do the outside. The outside has plenty of olive oil to crisp it up. And once that's a light golden brown, we can turn that over. And for this toasted sandwich, we're going in with some caramelized onion. So just smearing that on both sides. Mm. 
I have some roast beef here. I'm going to put it into the fry pan just to warm it up a little bit before adding it to the sandwich. Just going to add some dill pickles and I have thinly sliced them so that they warm up a little easier. And then a piece of Jarlsberg. And once that slice of roast beef is warm enough, we can then add that to the focaccia and then close it up. And then set that off to the side to warm up a little later on. Place a little more vegetable oil in your pan. This time round, we're going in with some Turkish bread. Quite proud of this. I just made this today and it was a trial and it turned out fabulous. And I've pre-buttered. Again, really only need to do the inside. The outside is fine enough to just go directly into the fry pan. Again, just a light golden brown and then flip it back over. I'm going to use the dill and cream cheese, but this time I'm going to do both sides of the bread. in with one piece of the halloumi fits just perfectly and a piece of Jarlsberg so this essentially is a vegetarian three cheese you can see I'm adding in some spinach spinach goes so well in toasted sandwiches because it wilts really nicely Adding some of that grated jalapeno. And then closing up the sandwich. And for this one, I'm adding on just a little drizzle of truffle oil. And you can see I'm moving the base of the Turkish bread around to soak up some of that truffle oil. And then a flip. And then just push that off to the side a little bit, ready to add the other two toasted sandwiches back in just to bring up to a decent temperature to eat and to warm up the insides a little bit more. And then just give them a little flip and then I will stake them with a serving skewer 
just so that the tops don't slide off. Now time to transfer to your serving platter. And then I'm gonna do the side on cut so you can see the insides of the toasted sandwich. This one is the three cheese and spinach. Next up is the caramelized onion and roast beef with pickle. And lastly, the Philadelphia cream cheese dill, camembert and turkey. And there you have it, three bougie toasted sandwiches. Good enough for a Michelin star restaurant, I'd say. I think my favorite would have to be the Turkish bread with the drizzle of truffle oil. Although the roast beef with the pickle and caramelized onion, oh yeah. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to check out the rest of what Sliver and Bite has to offer right here on YouTube. See you soon.